This is now the fourth Harry Potter film. How has Harry changed since the first one? Um, I suppose it, the whole, all of the films are sort of about a bit of a loss of innocence. You know, when you're growing up, I mean, it's, uh, you sort of go from thinking, you know, everything's wide-eyed and it's amazing, and then suddenly you realise that bad people do exist and bad things do happen outside of storybooks and outside of all that. I think part of it is the realisation that Harry, uh, Harry undergoes it, particularly in this one, he comes face to face with evil, and so I think that leaves a definite mark on this character. Harry has to ask someone for on a date in the Goblet of Fire. Did it remind you of the first time you had to ask someone on a date? Well, I mean, it would. Mine went slightly smoother than Harry's. I mean, not much. I'm not that, you know, because I think at, at, any guy at 14 years old is useless with girls. I know I mm. certainly was. So it's. Uh, I, yeah, how old are you? Uh, 15. 15. Right. Well, you've gone through all of that then. I mean, it's like, you know. So it's like. Um, no guy has never had an awkward moment, so in yeah. that I feel I'm sort of standing up for every person who's ever had an awkward moment with a girl. Would you fancy Hermione in real life? That's a bit of a tricky one. Um, I mean, me and Emma, we're, we're good mates here. Uh, it's, sorry, I mean Ron and Hermione, that's a, mm. sort of a different story probably, because um, there, could be, there could be something between them, but um, no, me and Emma, we're just sort of good mates, really. Harry Potter has made international stars of Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint and Emma Watson, all of whom have grown up in the public eye. A tall order for even the most hard-skinned young actors, who must now put up with the cheekiest of questions from the world's media. My dad is Ginger. Do you oh, yeah. think that people are biased against ginger-haired people? Um, I don't know. I've, I've never really known it like that. I mean, when I was at school, I used to get the odd sort of people shout out Ginger and that, and. Uh, or Ginger as well as a popular one as well, but um, no, it's, I'm pretty um, pleased with him. He's got me the part of uh, yeah. Ron, so uh, I can't well, really complain. Well, look at me now, then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Child stars often go off the rails. <laughs> Do you think you have handled the fame well? Um, no, I would say I'm completely off the rails. Um, if you think about it, I mean, there have been loads of actors who started really young mm. um, who have had fantastic careers, but I mean, I suppose it's the ones that the, the press sort of focus on are the ones yeah. who've had, who have gone off the rails. I mean, I think, I, I only really think of myself as being famous sort of two days a year, which is the premieres, because other than that, it doesn't really come into my life a, a huge amount. What is the best thing about being Harry Potter? I suppose it's the fact that, you know, so many kids and not just kids, you know, adults love the books. Mm. To be right at the centre of this amazing, amazing thing, I suppose, basically the best thing is that I've had a fantastic five years doing these films and sort of long may it continue. <laughs>